Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and I'm sorry I'm starting to lose my voice. I worked all weekend, and I am not doing too good voice-wise. I've just had to talk really loud, and uh, you know, at work there was music playing and things like that, and although it wasn't as bad as it has been in previous uh, events, um, it was still a lot, and there was a lot going on. So I'm very tired. I'm running out of my voice, but I still want to bring you the box office numbers for Venom, Let There Be Carnage for the third weekend. And the movie did well. It actually dropped only 50%, an even 50% from last weekend, which is really great uh, because that's what we were kind of hoping for. That shows that the movie still kind of has legs right now and it's still doing well domestically and people are still going out to see it. And it made $16.5 million here domestically in the U.S., but overseas, it did awesome. <laughs> like, it did really well overseas. And it still has not released in China yet, as far as I know. Even though I saw, like, some mixed, you know, news about that. Maybe it might it release in certain regions of China. But it seems like it hasn't, at least so far. At least it's not being reported that it has. And uh, and so we're not, we don't have that yet, to those numbers, if the movie even will be released in China. Because apparently they have a big grudge against Disney right now. So, um... With this movie, though, overseas, it, you know, Latin America, um, it played in different parts of the world, like Europe, obviously, it came out, and uh, and Russia, it had a big opening, like, last weekend in Russia and stuff, so everywhere it's releasing, I think India reported really strong numbers for this movie, like, it's doing awesome, it's doing very, very well, in fact, overseas, you know, in general, if you add up all the countries and territories and regions it's released in, it made a total of $115.6 million already. And then if you add in the domestic numbers from, you know, it's 90 million opening weekend, and then it's 30 something million last weekend, and then another 16 this weekend, you have a global total of $283.7 million, which is great. <laughs> so if they got about, let's say on average, 40 to 50% off of these ticket sales, because obviously they only get that much on the first weekend, and then each weekend they get less and less. Um, but the movie makes less and less each weekend, so, you know, I guess it balances out in some ways. To, to them, at least, it makes sense. But uh, we're looking at a, a, a potential of after it crossing $300 million, which it will do any day now um, worldwide. That means it'll basically earn its budget back. Um, which is great. Uh, so that would consider it a success. And that would mean everything after like, you know, over the, like maybe let's say Wednesday, everything past Wednesday would mostly be gravy. Now, I don't know what they spent on marketing. So you do got to factor that in. So maybe they still haven't fully broke even yet. It's hard to say. I kind of ballparked it originally like around 400 million. If it went past that, then it would cover the budget of the movie and the marketing. But again, I don't know. I mean, none, none of us really know. I mean, I'm sure some people out there really know, but I don't know the specifics of each number. I just know that the budget was about 110 million and that, you know, I'm going to guess they spent about 70 million to market it. Um, normally you would spend another 110 to market it. But during COVID, I mean, they did a couple big things like in India that I think on the Burj Khalifa building or they, so they picked like some buildings to like have Andy Circus on the building <laughs> and they made like a viral video. And then it was pretty crazy because I remember when The Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson, when he announced Black Adam, he did it at Times Square and he took over Times Square during COVID when like there was hardly anyone out, out there walking around. And uh, and then they did that with Venom. They took over Times Square and now they took over India and they're they're doing these big, you know, projection screens on the side of building stuff. And, and it's pretty cool. I mean, they're they're going out there and, and, and really pushing this movie. So they are spending money. So I'm going to guess maybe, you know, they, they may not be spending the full amount they originally going to. But they're definitely spending some money to to pull off stuff like that. So uh, so yeah, I'm thinking, you know, seventy million. But again, that's just a random number off the top of my head. It's not based on anything other than a guess. But uh, I still feel like it's a fairly safe guess. But still, uh, so I think over four hundred million would be golden for sure. But the fact that it's already after three weekends, so it's like twenty days. It's already at 283.7 globally. That's amazing. That's really good. Um, I think they said it's already doing with its offshore footprint, they say here on Deadline. Um, the film captured the number one spot in 39 markets, and it's outpacing No Time to Die by 34%, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings by 102%, and Black Widow by 76%, um, and F9 by 17%. So what that means is that basically those movies, when they came out 21 days later after their initial release, that's how many percentage-wise they're behind where Venom is right now. So Venom is not only making a lot of money, but 
fast, like, you know, each weekend, which is good. It's just, and at, every time it releases somewhere else around the world, that hype train is still going. You know, people are seem, seem to be very excited to go in the theaters and check this out. So that's awesome. I mean, it's just so cool to see this movie sweep like this, kind of how the first one was. Now it is going to peter off at some point, right? Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> it is going to at some point trickle down and, and hit a plateau and, and even out. Obviously, Sony would really like this movie to release in China because then that would just most of these other movies like Shang-Chi and Black Widow and I think Eternals. I don't think any of those movies are and I know Shang-Chi and Black Widow didn't, but I don't think Eternals is either getting a Chinese release. Um, and I don't I'm not, I think James Bond might. But, you know, China right now has a big movie they made that they're pushing. And so they're not really allowing other stuff in right now until that makes a ton of money for them. So I don't know whatever games these, you know, countries and, and studios and, and uh, billionaires play with each other, but it's clearly that's what's going on, which is really crummy because obviously we just want more people to see this because there are fans of Venom in China who were saw the first movie and helped that movie do really well, who, you know, we saw the cool marketing they did where it was like, look at Venom, he's a great boyfriend and all that stuff. They had some really interesting marketing to get younger people to go see Venom, you know, in the first movie, and it worked. You know, that movie did really well over there. So I'm sure those fans, you know, they're they're the ones who are really hurting here because they are probably want to go see this movie, and um, and you know, don't have access to it in a theater right now. So hopefully that changes for the fans' sake, and hopefully everyone above who's billionaire, you know, all the billionaires, hopefully they put their bullcrap aside so that fans can see this movie over there. So, um, but uh, you know, other than that, the the numbers though are fantastic. They're they're really great. And I, I can't wait to report next week and see how well it's doing next week. Hopefully next week, you know, because it's going to release in other territories and regions each week, you know, slowly. I think pretty soon we're going to be getting to a point where it'll be like every two weeks we'll get another major country or region release. Um, but at least right now, I think we have a few more coming up over the next few weeks. So let's hope, let's hope by the end of October we can pass the 400 million marker and, uh, and keep going from there. That would be really great. So, uh, and let's hope for releases everywhere they can release this movie not just china but anywhere else where there are fans of venom we want everyone to go see this movie obviously so keep climbing venom we love it i love seeing these numbers they're very positive and i'm very excited so uh let me know what you think down below of this and when it's coming out in your region we're still going to stay away from spoilers in this video but don't worry my very next video for venom vlog that we'll post will be all about the post credit scene so only watch that if you've seen the movie or if you know about the post credit scene Otherwise, stay away and wait till you go, you know, see it in the theater. And I promise my thumbnail will not give away um, anything about the post credit scene and neither will the title. Uh, you know, it'll just say post credit scene discussion. So, that, yeah, so I'll keep it as safe as possible for you. But in this episode, keep it clean. No spoilers down below. Just talk about numbers. Let me know what you think of these and where you hope the movie ends up. Thanks so much for watching the show. See you all next time for the next box office report next week. See you in the future. Peace.